Five to two. Sam winner three to one. Medemy four to one. And Mafiul, Hollywell's old adversary. He beat her, of course, at Cheltenham last spring. She is the two to one favourite to give the owner Simon Meunier a treble. Nikki Henderson across the card five timer, and Daryl Jacob a treble as well. Let's get a line from Mick Fitzgerald and Graham Cunningham on how this fascinating little race might pan out. Yeah, that is that is going to be the key. Sam winner the last time he ran was behind the bridle and they had to rouse him along. Nick Schofield, that'll be his job today. He stays really well, Sam Winner. So I can see him being relatively handy with only four runners. They're all going to be fairly handy, Graham. I think so. Hollywell and Mafilier are old rivals. They were first and second in that Bayliss and Harding chase. Uh, Mafilier has a good pull in the way it's and She was brilliant, really brilliant when she won the top. Um, she disappointed at Down Royal, but I think she needed the race She there. looked badly in need of the race. You know, if we get a shot of her now, you'll see. She's a mare who holds plenty of condition. She looks a lot tighter today than she did for her Down Royal run. But Hollywell, in the early preliminaries and what we're seeing of him walk around, he looks magnificent. He really does, and I'd be surprised if there's anything wrong with him today. The one worry is no blinkers on, Greg. Exactly. Cheap pieces, he's a good horse. Blinkers, he's an extremely good horse. But look at the form of his Aintree win. He beat Don Cossack, who's been cleaning up in Ireland. Wonderful charms win a good race. Many clouds win the Hennessy. And O'Fallon's boy was well beaten that day. He'd win the RSA. So, he's 12-1 to 1 for the Gold Cup. But the stable have been quiet. Don't think they've had a winner, John Joe's team, since the 19th of November. It's a fairly long time between drinks. Sam Winner might well go on here. I know he was pushed along a long way from home, but I don't think he's going to win this race by a turn of foot, whereas one or two of those yeah, of his main rivals have some speed. Metternich, can we give him a chance? He hasn't won since 2011. He's not from 10 now, but he's rated 154. Fair chance at the weight. To get up and raise his flag, here we go. They can now approach Mark Johnson with the call. Raised and they're off. Racing for the Betfred Racing's biggest supporter chase. A listed race over three miles and a furlong, which will involve only ten fences to be jumped. Sam Winner begins on this very long run to the first fence. It's going to be the best part of five furlongs to Hollywell Racing in second. And then the two greys, Mathieu, towards the outside of Medemy. So now they cross over the Grand National course. And this next section of the track will be very interesting, particularly on the final circuit, because the wings of the chair and the last fence are virtually in line. So this is a very tricky little Monaco Grand Prix-esque chicane that they go around. And now... They come up past with two circuits ahead of them. Sam Winner and Nick Schofield out in front to Hollywell Racing in second with Richie McLennan. And then two and a half lengths back to Medemy and Dennis O'Regan and Daryl Jacob and Mathieu with a head bowed racing last of the quartet. So very shortly they will be facing up to the first of the four fences down the back straight. And it is Sam Winner who won over very nearly three and a half miles at Cheltenham just three weeks ago. About to be joined by Hollywell as they rise now at the first. Sam Winner got in very tight, just breasted that fence. Gets a slap down the neck to pick his ideas up from Nick Schofield as they go towards fence number two. Sam Winner on the inside of Hollywell. And then Medemy and Mathieu taking the second. Beautiful jump on the outside by Hollywell over that fence. Again, was a little more fluent than Sam Winner on the inside as they go now towards the open ditch. Sam Winner was better there, and indeed he just stole half a length over Hollywell in second, Medemy and Mafieu as they go now towards fence number four. Sam Winner comes to it, and again he was better than Hollywell, who was very good at the first two and then not so good at three and four, and he gets now a slap down the neck from Richie McLennan as they go into the turn. So one more fence to be taken on this circuit, and that will be the cross fence. And they're coming up to it now, and Sam Winner has now established a lead of about a length and a half, nearly two lengths, over Hollywell in second, then Mafieu and Medemy. Sam Winner just put the brakes on going into that, and it was Mafieu who jumped that one particularly slick. She went up alongside Hollywell for just a stride or two. So now a run of well over three quarters of a mile before they cross over the next fence. They went to post the winners of 15 steeplechasers between them so far for 
highly touted chasers as they come up the home straight for the second time. Sam Winner and Nick Schofield out in front. Hollywell, winner of the Grade 1 Mull, may chase here at the National Festival in the spring, racing in second. Matthew Earl, who tasted success over the Grand National Fences herself in the Topham last spring, back in third, being to give trainer Nicky Henderson another big winner and what's already been a big day for him. A winner here and three down at Sandown. Medami bidding to give trainer and jockey combination of Alan King and Dennis O'Regan two wins on this entry car. Well, they'll be doing it for real when they come up the home straight the next time around. They've got one more circuit to go, five more fences to jump. Sam Winner still has the lead. Hollywell in second. Mafiel now a clear third and Medami last of the quartet. He's just pushing along Sam Winner as they go out into the country. Going away from the horse boxers and Sam Winner with Nick Schofield urging, uh, really urging him now to try and get away from Hollywell in second. But still there's only a length and a half betwixt the two as they now go on to fence number six. Sam Winner, Hollywell on the outside, got in a little deep. Once again, Mafiel was foot perfect back in third. Medemi has now dropped about four lengths off that leading trio. As they go now towards the second one down the back, Sam Winner comes to it. Hollywell. Sticking to him towards the outside, Matthew Earl just in behind them once again. It was Matthew Earl who was absolutely spot on in third. As now they go towards an open ditch, and all the time he's just shoveling on the coal here on Sam Winner. But again, he gets in a little tight for the ditch. Hollywell has gone. Hollywell blundered in second place and has unseated Richie McLean. And Richie quickly getting to his feet. Hollywell's okay. But Sam Winner has been left clear now by about three lengths. And the first mistake by Matthew Earl. She hit that fence pretty hard, but that will be only the second from home they take. Medemi now last of the trio in this Betfred Racing's biggest supporter chase. So Sam Winner with just the final fence down the side and then this five furlong run in ahead of him. Matthew Earl traveling into the race really well. She's only made that one significant error so far. That's the final jumping test and Matthew Earl, she really picked her hooves up over that. And he appears at the moment as though Matthew Earl is taking dead aim at Sam Winner. Sam Winner still being urged, cajoled along by Nick Schofield on this long meandering run down the centre of the uh, two courses in the home straight. Sam Winner out in front. Matthew Earl with about a length and a half to find in second. Medemi back in third. They've still got the best part of two and a half furlongs to go. Sam Winner still urged along. Now he pulls out of the slipstream on Matthew Earl and Daryl Jacob chasing a treble here this afternoon in the sunshine at Aintree now gets to work on Matthew Earl but Sam Winner he's not stopping he's digging in as they come down towards the final furlong and the chicane around the final fence and it will be Sam Winner who takes the line and still has a lead of a length and a half Matthew Earl will need to do more now Medemi is staying on again it's Sam Winner now by two lengths to in second Matthew Earl Medemi continuing to climb but it's Sam Winner out in front. He's getting desperately lonely, but Sam Winner will make all to win. Medemi Nick second, and Matthew in third. Full marks to Sam Winner, to Nick Schofield, to Paul Nichols. Opportunity has been seized in 